How to fix update KV5062553 failed to install in Windows 11 24 H2. Hello friends, follow the steps to fix any installation problems with July 2025 security update for Windows 11 24 H2. The first method you can try is try to install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. You will reach this page. Here are multiple files. One file for x64 based systems, one for uh, ARM64 based systems, and the other for Microsoft Server Operating System. Check your system type first. For this, click on Start, select Settings, go to System, scroll down, click on About. Here is system type 64 bit operating system, x64 based processor. This file is compatible with my system. Check yours and click on the Download button. For the file, click on both the links. Once downloading is completed, click on the folder icon. Right click on the MSU file, select open. Preparing the installation. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Click on Yes. The packages will be copied to Windows Update Cache. Then you will have to restart your computer. After two or three restarts, the update will be installed successfully. After installing this update, install this update KV5043080 in the same way. If this update is not being installed, then there is no need to worry about. It might be installed earlier. If the issue still persists, modify services. Click on search, type services, click on services. Go to the bottom part of services window. Look for windows update, this one. Right click on this service, select properties. The startup type must be automatic here. So click on the drop down and select automatic. Click on apply. Service status must be running. So click on start. Click on OK. Right click on this service and select restart. Then look for app readiness service. This one. Right click on this service. Select properties. The startup type should be automatic, which is already here. Service status must be running. So click on start. Click on OK. Do the same with background intelligent transfer service. Right click on this service. Select properties. Change the startup type to automatic. It should be automatic here and click on start if it is already running leave it at it is click on apply click on ok right click on background intelligent transfer service select restart then look for cryptographic services this one right click on this service select properties the startup type must be automatic, which is already here, and service status is showing running. So nothing is needed. Click on OK. Right click on cryptographic services. Select restart. Close the services window and then check for updates. If the problem still persists, reset Windows update components. Go to the video description. You will find this link there. Click on this link from video description. A file will be downloaded in your default browser. Click on show in folder. Right click on this zip file. Select extract all. Click on extract. Then right click on this batch file and select run as administrator click on yes press a key on your keyboard wait until the process is completed
वंस कंप्लीटेड प्रेस ए की ऑन योर कीबोर्ड क्लोज द विंडोज एंड रीस्टार्ट योर कंप्यूटर देन ट्राई टू इंस्टॉल द सिक्योरिटी अपडेट इफ द इशू इज स्टिल नॉट फिक्स्ड देन अन इंस्टॉल थर्ड पार्टी एंटीवायरस प्रोग्राम इफ यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड एनी थर्ड पार्टी एंटीवायरस प्रोग्राम देन द प्रोग्राम माइट इंटरफेयर विद द विंडोज अपडेट प्रोसेस सो अन इंस्टॉल इट and check if the method works so right click on start select installed apps find the third party program in the list to be fair i have not installed any third party antivirus program suppose this is the third party antivirus then click on three dots select on install and click on uninstall If any uninstallation wizard appears, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the removal. Then again restart your computer and then check if the update is installed. Click on Start. Go to Settings. Go to Windows Update and click on Check for updates. If the problem is not going away, then run SFC and DISM tools. Click on Search. Type CMD. right click on command prompt select run as administrator click on yes go to the video description you will find these commands there dism command and sfc command copy the dism command from the description paste into the command prompt and hit enter once done copy the sfc command Paste into the command prompt. Press Enter. After running both the commands, close the command prompt. Close the other running tasks and restart your computer. Then try installing the update. If any of the methods don't work, then you will have to perform in place upgrade. For this, launch a browser. Type Windows Eleven Download and press Enter. Click on this link. Download Windows Eleven. So scroll down, and under the Download Windows Eleven Disk Image ISO for X64 devices, click on Select Download. Select Windows Eleven Multi Edition ISO for X64 devices. If your device is ARM64 based, then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly. For X64 devices, click on Confirm. Now you will have to choose a language. Click on Choose One. Here are the list of languages. Check the language of your Windows system. Click on Start. Settings. Go to Time and Language. and click on language and region windows display language is english united states so click on this drop down and select english united states click on confirm click on 64 bit download once downloaded go to the file explorer click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar downloads which is generally the download location right click on the just downloaded iso file select mount then right click on setup.exe and select open click on yes on check this box if you leave this option checked then the process will consume much more time so uncheck it and click on next click on accept finally click on install and wait for the process to complete the system will restart several times during the process 
the security update will be automatically installed with this in place upgrade that's all friends thanks for watching the video